Jun Dobry Chesh and hello. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about seven different Polish animals that are uniquely found in Europe that you're not going to find in the US. So, all of these animals on this list are ones that I haven't even heard of before coming over to Poland for the first time. So, I figured this would just be a fun list to share and make. So, without further ado, guys, let's just get started. All right, so the first one is one of the most popular on this list today that I'm going to share, and that one is White Stork. So, this is a pretty popular bird in Poland, and honestly, it's a pretty tall bird. It has very long legs and also a a long beak. It kind of reminds me of a blue herring in a way, but the colors are completely different. So the legs have like a pink red color and then their feathers are mainly white and then black at the end. So a fun fact about the coloration of the legs and the beak is that it's completely based on a chemical that they eat, which is called astaxanthin. This is a chemical that's mainly found in shellfish and different animals like that that live in streams or oceans. And it's actually the same color that gives salmon its pink and red color and also same with flamingos. So what's really interesting is that during the winter, these birds will actually migrate to Africa and then they'll fly up in the summer all the way up to Poland where 25% of the population will remain for the rest of the season and I actually found that the population has been declining ever since the 1900s and this is mainly due to different agricultural practices where forests have basically turned into farms and this actually caused them to basically lose their habitat and food to a degree and what I could find is that they're also kind of a trash bird they'll go over to trash dumps and they will just forage around for different foods and insects and also just old food that's been left out but it's definitely a popular bird and I've seen it all over Poland. All right, so the next one is the European bison. So there's actually only two species of bison and that is one which is European bison and then American bison. Apparently they were almost hunted to extinction into the 20th century and in 1921 they actually captured a few of them and had them in captivity. And then once they started to breed they actually reintroduced them to some countries into the wild. And this is actually the heaviest surviving land animal in Europe. And what I found is that it's actually a little bit lighter than the American bison, but it's a little bit taller though than the American bison. So apparently the people in Biawo Veja have actually been protecting the animal since the 15th century, but it seems like they've had a bit of an issue with other people trying to hunt them. But as of now, there's actually 2,000 wild bison in Poland. And the first time I ever learned about a European bison was when I was drinking Żebrówka and it has, you know, the bison grass, which apparently in the Żebrówka bottles, you know, there's this grass, which is like the bison grass. Apparently that grass is not in the US for some reason, they just don't import it for whatever reason. All right, so the next one is the Eurasian wolf, which just like most animals today, they're all having a comeback since like the 1950s after over, you know, hunting and things like that. And most of these animals have been pretty much exterminated due to their fur. I mean, that's the same thing with like the bison, you know, fur and meat as well. And apparently Poland plays a really fundamental role in this job with like actually most animal species because they will actually travel to and from, from east to west through Poland. And I'm actually pretty sure that this is probably really beneficial to the environment because it was kind of like the same thing with Yosemite National Park here in the US. They basically had an overpopulation of non-predatory animals like deer. And ever since they introduced wolves into the environment, there's been basically just like a natural healthy level of animals. All right, so the next one is roe deer. And Bambi is actually based off of a roe deer, believe it or not. And I didn't even know this before going over to Poland. So yeah, it's actually a really popular animal amongst Europe and also Northern Iran and Iraq, believe it or not. And from what I could tell is that they haven't had an over hunting issue or anything like that and basically the animal's population has just been steadily increasing all right so the next one is the white-tailed eagle so this bird mainly ranges from all over Europe to even all of Russia and during the winter months it will actually migrate to the Middle East and actually it's considered to be one of the top five largest eagles in the world so the furthest west this bird is actually found is actually in Greenland and believe it or not but the largest wingspan that this bird actually has had was eight feet or two and a half meters and this was found in Greenland all right so the next one is the Polish fox, which is actually a really rare animal to see, and it's usually hiding in forests or just places where humans aren't. And from what I can tell is that it actually has pretty much most of the same characteristics as the American known foxes, but this one is just a little bit smaller in size and height and also in weight as well. But it hunts most of the same animals and has pretty much the same diet and also is mostly afraid of humans and is usually just where humans really aren't. All right, so the last animal on my list today is the corncrake. And honestly, it's a pretty funny word, but yeah, this is a very small bird that's found in Europe and will actually migrate to Africa and will even go all the way out to North China. So the preferred habitat for this animal is mainly found in open hay fields and really just open agricultural fields. And actually it's a pretty difficult animal to see because it's usually hiding in vegetation. And actually since 2010 this animal is found on the near threatened list with most of the population actually steadily declining. And this is actually mainly because of their loss of habitat and also different predatory animals like foxes and cats. Alright guys so that was seven animals that you're not going to find in the US but 
that are found in Poland. So what do you guys think of the list? Is there any more that you think I could have added? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Dziękuję i do widzenia.